If you've ever played Sea of Thieves before, you've probably tried out the game mode called Hourglass, which released in Season 8 after Arena was banned because not many people played it. Well, if you've played it before, you know that when it first came out, it was very, very popular. But now it started to die down. And the reason for that being is because there's so many people that just sweat Hourglass and don't actually play Sea of Thieves. Or at least that is a stereotype anyway, because today I'm here to figure that out if Hourglass really is that sweaty and to see how much money you can actually make by just playing Hourglass instead of playing the actual Sea of Thieves. So sit back, relax and strapple in as it's gonna get bumpy as we go into the Hourglass. This is Sea of Thieves. First thing I did was go over to the Merchant Alliance and gather some supplies so that I was ready for whatever hit me. And a quick tip for all you new players who want to do PvP or even just sail the seas. If you go around on the outpost and scout all the battles using a storage crate, it can get you very much resources such as cannibals, coconuts and wooden planks. Then of course I decided to put up the Servant of the Flame, which by the way, if you did not know, please put up a Reaper Alliance if you choose Servant of the Flame. If you choose the other one, which is the Guardians of Fortune, I advise that you put up the Athena's Fortune, if you have it. Which, if you do, it just means that you get more money at the end with your Emissary Grade. And after about two minutes of searching, we finally found an opponent. Did he shoot himself over? I think he did. Oh, come on, bro. Did I do it? I did it! Yes! With some help of another sloop, we were able to sink our first enemy. But our next opponents may not be so forgiving. Oh my...
my! Fuck you. I'm so. I can. I can't. I can't do this. I. I. I physically can't do this. He's so bad. Oh. It's one lucky shot, bro. I. Anyway, after a little bit of rage, we decided we'll go for one more round, and um, it went quite well. We managed to finally sink him, and um, we found quite a lot of resources as well, so Holy I can't complain shit. about that. So much resources that I decided to give it one more go. What the fuck is he doing? Oh! Let's fucking go! I fucking did this shit, bruh! I fucking did this shit, bruh! We had done it again. We increased our streak to level 2. And I was happy to sell the loot. But unfortunately, I'd make one fatal error. My loyal servant. Oh, fuck. I lowered my M. Oh, sh. No, bruh. You're probably wondering why I'm so upset right now. What? You see that money we just made? I could have doubled that if I didn't lower down my emissary. So I just lost 30,000 coins. Anyway, after selling all of our loot and taking down our emissary, I decided there was time for one more. Holy sh! Oh my god! Coffee. You're so annoying, oh my god! And so that was that. I was finally sunk and defeated. This has been Hourglass PvP. My advice, don't play it.